Hey guys, uh, hello from Seattle, Washington. I'm here this week uh, visiting the stockcharts.com home office. Uh, really enjoying my visit here. Some really good people to, uh, to work with there. Um, I was on Stock Charts TV yesterday, and I'll add a link uh, below the video uh, over to that one. Um, but I was talking with Tom and Aaron on Stock Charts TV about uh, discipline and uh, talked about a disciplined approach to technical analysis. You see, a lot of times what I find uh, when people are just learning how to analyze charts or, or uh, early on in their investment um, journey, learning how to be a better investor, uh, they tend to oversimplify and uh, will focus on maybe one data point and, and that's it and, and it overwhelms their analysis. Think of it this way, if you're familiar with fundamental analysis, would you ever buy a company or a stock just because the PE was 12? Probably not, right? That's way oversimplifying it. It's 12 high or low for that stock, for that industry, where is the PE, where are the valuations relative to historical levels? What about any other way to analyze the company other than a PE ratio, right? What about price to cash flow? What about cash to equity? What about uh, the management team, earnings growth? I mean, all these other different items we can do. But when we look at charts, all of a sudden we oversimplify and we look at one data point. Oh, this stock is breaking to new highs or the RSI is 30 or whatever one thing. And then that becomes our analysis. You have to think of charts as a weight of the evidence approach, just like you would think of a company from a fundamental perspective. So it's not just about one data point or one signal. It's about the mosaic that you build by going through a very systematic approach. You start, in my opinion, start with price. What is the price telling you? And then start to build your uh, story by going uh, in a disciplined fashion through each piece of evidence. Uh, it's so funny when I when I teach uh, you know early technical analysts people just learning the craft or when I've taught students at the university level I, I literally make them write out the answers to each of these questions is the stock in an uptrend or downtrend where are the moving averages and and you know the the volume whatever items I want to put on there and force you to go through and answer each of those questions. Um, for many of you, I bet if you think about your process when you're actually looking at the chart of a stock or looking at a company, many times you will oversimplify and you'll probably focus in on one piece of the story and then that becomes your analysis. And then the problem is you're opening yourself up to confirmation bias, which is now I've decided this stock's a buy because of the P.E. ratio, whatever the one item is. And then any other evidence I'm looking at, I'm just trying to gather more evidence to support my thesis that I've already created. You want to start from scratch, have no opinion, look at all the evidence, and then take the entire uh, basket of evidence, the entire weight of the evidence approach, and then make your decision on the overall uh, uh, decision, your overall outlook. If this sort of thinking has helped you, I hope you'll check out my blog, marketmisbehavior.com, where you can get more uh, discussion about relating behavioral psychology and biases uh, to investing decisions. Thanks so much.